is Splatoon 3 getting apartments. That is what I will be talking about in this video. But first of all, if you are new to the channel, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything Splatoon 3. So yeah, I have been watching that trailer many, many times. And of course, whilst editing the videos I have made, I did take many screenshots from the Splatsville sort of area of the trailer the Splatsville section of that trailer and in that trailer you can see that Splatsville is of course heavily populated we knew that from Nintendo's description of it but in the screenshots we did get of Splatsville you can see apartments above the shops and it's kind of got me thinking whether that would be a feature for Splatoon 3 where we could have our own apartments knowing Nintendo though that will probably just be something that is just in Splatsville and that is it. We will not be able to interact with it. It's something which I definitely want the new hub area to have. I want it to have more interactive elements in there and apartments would be a great way to do it. And we've sort of seen our first glimpse of apartments in the Splatoon series in the Splatoon 1 loading screen where a random room did appear where you could see like a poster or stickers of Callie and Marie and you saw I do believe a charger just propping up I'm just going off of memory at the moment you are seeing that on screen at the moment so yeah we have seen Nintendo play around with that it was just like a random room and Nintendo never done anything with that so how they've got like apartments in Splatsville why not allow us to have our own room where pretty much we could unlock elements to customise it in in the multiplayer. It will just give you something extra to go for in the multiplayer. And my idea is that you've got so many apartments in there. Why not allow us to visit our friends apartments as well and leave little notes in there. Oh yeah, great match today and you can pin it up to the notice board like, with like a traditional sort of, I don't know, post-it note or something like that I'm not sure if that's how you, you say it or not my mind's gone completely blank but yeah having that opportunity to customize our own rooms and go into our friends room and see what they have done that'll be really really cool to see and maybe you got like a welcome mat where pretty much you would see letters on the floor and they would be invitations to play ranked battles. So Snorf has invited you to play Tower Control. Snorf has invited you to play Salmon Run. That will be a great way for us to get invitations in the game. It will pop up. You will get like a notification on screen. And then it will take you to your apartment. And you can then sort of interact with that. And choose whether you want to play in that game mode so yeah I think having customizable elements as well that would be really really cool to see so you could unlock like a pearl and marina poster or maybe plushies of our favorite characters in the game that would be really really cool to see and just like the charger in that room in Splatoon 1 maybe you could put up like your favorite weapon you would unlock like a model of your favorite weapon and then you would be able to put it up prop it up wherever you want maybe it wouldn't be like a full-blown apartment maybe it would just be a room but yeah i'd love to see nintendo play around with this and maybe it could be like an area it could be like a frame and then you could put up a screenshot you have taken within the game that would be really really cool to see so you could display your favorite moments from the game so say like if we did have that feature in Splatoon 2 and in Splatfest you did win one of the 100 times battles you could put up a screenshot of you getting that massive lottery ticket seeing the apartments it's got me wanting that feature in Splatoon 3 but I don't think we will get it I really don't knowing Nintendo knowing what they have done with this Splatoon series pretty much the apartments will almost likely to be there for show and that is it it's just there to show that Splatsville is a densely populated area but I would love for them to go even further with that and yeah, I just want, like what I said before many times on the channel, 
I want something extra to go for in the multiplayer. I want something extra to unlock in there. And having like customizable options for your room, having a room in the first place and having the ability to unlock stuff for it, whether it be like, I don't know, like a squid rug and you can pull it in your room or something like that. Maybe incorporate some of the elements they have done in their other game, Animal Crossing, put it in Splatoon. Maybe that would be a good idea. But let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. I would just love it if you had like a room you could visit your people on your friends list rooms and you know you can interact with some of the elements in there and yeah it just would be really really cool to see I think that would add something extra to the Splatoon series and yeah I would definitely play the Splatoon 3 multiplayer just to keep on unlocking more and more stuff for my room that is just something which I would do. So yeah, I really want Nintendo to put apartments in Splatoon 3, but let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. I will be doing a full blowout, sort of wish list sort of video later on in the week. It will be a really, really long video. So yeah, that will be coming out later on in the week. But just moving on to other Splatoon 3 stuff I haven't talked about. I don't really want to make a separate video talking about this sort of stuff. But yeah, I really did enjoy the music in the trailer. The Splatak remix, that was just really, really cool to hear. As a OG sort of veteran of the Splatoon series, I just loved hearing that music. And it's kind of got me thinking that maybe this game will play on the first game a lot. And it will incorporate a lot of elements from the first game. Maybe the theme of the music will return to its rocky sort of roots. I know a lot of people loved the music in Splatoon 1. I was definitely one of them. Who knows, maybe the music could be like Splatoon 1's music in Splatoon 3. And yeah, another thing that I do believe has been spotted is the Tenta Missiles, I do believe, is returning. I wasn't sure whether that was just the Ink Zooka Strike or the Strike shots from the new Stingray. I wasn't sure about that, but yeah, people believe that the Tenta Missiles have returned in Splatoon 3. And yeah, I just love the new Ink colours as well. So yeah, finally to end this video, we will be getting a new Splatoon 2 update later on in the week. I did make a separate video talking about it, but it only lasted around about a couple of minutes. I thought, you know what, there's no point me uploading that as a separate video. So for the rest of the video, I will be talking about that new Splatoon 2 update and what it will be doing to the game. We are getting another update for Splatoon 2. It will be a balanced update, but Nintendo did confirm that we will be getting more updates, more balance updates later on in the year because Nintendo did say that they will be looking at the changes made in this update and they will make further changes based on the data they have got from this update coming up. So the big changes with this update is that they did fix an issue in Starfish main stage where you could get into the opposition base area by jumping up certain walls and they did fix that issue now so that you can't do that in starfish main stage that is also the same for manta maria kelp dome and skipper pavilion so they are really good changes in terms of weapons pretty much they haven't really made major changes to weapons in the game but pretty much what they have done to all of the splatter shots is that they have made it easier to ink the turf around your feet whilst firing. Also with the 52 gals in the game, they have increased the radius of ink that lands when you shoot far away by roughly 27%. For all of the dapple jewelers and the splat jewelers, they have decreased ink consumption by roughly 5% when you do fire shots with the weapons I did just mention. And also with all of the H3 nozzle noses in the game, they have increased ink consumption by roughly 25% 
For the squeezers and the dual squelchers, they have increased shot spread when firing immediately after jumping in normal stance by roughly 25% and they have also changed some of the points required to get your special weapons as well. I will put that chart up on screen right now and the patch notes will be in the description below as well. So yes, Splatoon 2 will be getting updates but nothing major which isn't really surprising. What is surprising me is that they are still updating this game, they are still supporting this game balancing the game even though Splatoon 3 is coming out next year so yeah major props to Nintendo for doing that so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video I will see you in another video soon